Hi, John here, the hat guy. I know I'm not in my normal location today, but that's okay. There's a lot going on in the world today, and we really need to be paying attention to what's going on. <clears throat> uh, pardon me, I'm just getting over a really bad cold, and my voice is a little off, and my throat is still a little weird. So, my apologies for that. But, uh... Three things have happened recently, two of which you've probably heard of. The third you may not have. Uh, about a week ago, um, during a church service at a church in Texas, uh, somebody came in and decided they were going to shoot the place up. Clearly, they were deranged by some way. Uh, this is a person that that particular church had helped in the past on multiple occasions. But uh, for whatever crazy reason, he decided he wanted to shoot the place up. So he came in, pulled out a shotgun, shot two people. However, he was taken out by somebody with a gun, a good guy with a gun. Uh, six seconds from the time he pulled his gun, he managed to kill two people. And then one of the parishioners in the church killed him. And, and it was an amazing shot, by the way. Very few people are talking about that. He did it from 50 feet away with a handgun in a crowded room, and it was a headshot. One shot, he went down. Man's a hero. Um, five other people, at least, had guns in their hands ready to defend themselves. Now, the interesting thing about that is two things. Number one, the guns saved lives, saved many lives that day. But the Democrats... Uh, are trying to say uh, none of them should have been armed. They should have waited for the police. Well, if none of them were armed and they waited for the police, how many would have died in that church? There were a couple of hundred people in that church. A lot of people would have died. As it was, three people died. Two innocent people, one was the shooter. And it happened in six seconds. If he can kill two people in six seconds, how many people is he going to kill in the 15 minutes or so it takes the, for the police to arrive? You're not thinking straight if you think the people in that church should have been unarmed. They should not have. And thank God they weren't. <clears throat> Another thing that happened, this happened in Iraq in the uh, U.S. Embassy. A uh, bunch of people went in, shot the embassy up, killed some Americans, at least one. It may have been multiple, I'm not sure. And they, uh, President Trump responded. He had made the statement that uh, if you kill an American, we're going to come and kill you. And they did. And uh, in doing so, took out uh, Iran's uh, second in command. Now, this man was a, a terrorist, had been for years, uh, responsible for the lives of hundreds, if not thousands of Americans who had died in, under his reign of terror. The world is a much better place without him. And again, the Democrats are complaining. They're saying that uh, Tr President Trump overstepped his bounds. He should not have done that. And and uh, Nancy Pelosi's upset because uh, she wasn't notified. Well, the last time we had Democrats in charge uh, in Benghazi in an embassy that was attacked, it was a completely different uh, outcome. Uh, the Americans died and were tortured and killed and drugged through the streets. And uh, the people who could have responded were not allowed to respond. President Trump responded in the only way possible, and that was with extreme force. Now Iran is saying, well, we're going to retaliate. We've got uh, 35 uh, targets, all American targets, that uh, we're going we're gonna to hit. And uh, if they do war will break out and it'll be over quickly because this particular president doesn't play around like the last one did. Um, the third thing that's been happening is uh, one that most people probably haven't heard of. It was an article in, uh, I think it was the New York Post um, a couple of days ago saying the UN is advertising in the help wanted for uh, people to go door-to-door -to -door 
to collect firearms. Now, they're doing this in New York City. If you're going to go door-to-door -to, -door to collect firearms in you know, some other country, why would you be advertising this in New York City? Now, this is for a some kind of a coup. The left has been planning this clue, coup for three years, and they've been active on it. The whole thing with uh, President Trump's impeachment, that was the same thing. It's all the Democrats trying to remove him from office and in store their, restore their communistic utopia that they'd been building under President Obama. I think they're in cahoots with the UN, and uh, this is part of a, a either a, their main plan or a backup plan or something. At any rate, they need to be. We need to watch them. We need to be careful with them. We need to remove them from office and do so in the way that this country was designed to remove people from office, and that is this year. Later this year, when election rolls around, vote every single one of them out of office. Uh, start at the top. Nancy Pelosi has got to go. Maxine Waters has got to go. Schumer has got to go. All of these people need to be gone. Um, if, if you can call yourself a liberal Democrat in today's world, and you think everything the president has done is wrong... You really need to rethink your uh, your whole life strategy here because he's done nothing wrong. He's done nothing bad for this country. Everything he's done has been good for this country. Everything the Democrats want to do is bad for this country. And if you can't see that, you really need to wake up. And don't take my word for it. Go out there and study it yourself. Look this stuff up. Find out you know what is really being said by who and what they really mean. And you might find out that I'm right. I'm John. I'm the hat guy. And that's my opinion. Have a good day.